Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, Hindustan Aeronautics has issued tenders for request for information, for the design manufacture assembly and certification for the Tejas Mark II fighter jet, and most of the design concept of the Mark II was disclosed in the tender documents. The Tejas Mark II will be 1.5 meter longer than Mark I, which is a considerable increase in size, which will lead to an extra range and loading capacity. The Tejas Mark II will see the addition of canards, and it will give an optimum combination of maneuverability and acceleration, which will also lead to a better dogfight capability. The GSH-23 cannon has also been repositioned, which means that the Mark II will have a total of 9 hardpoints as compared to 8 hardpoints in Tejas Mark I, which means that the Tejas Mark II can station another air-to-air -air system under its air intake ports. The Mark II will have maximum takeoff weight of nearly 17,000 kg, as compared to 13,500 kg of Mark I, and it also means that the Mark II will have better load capacity in comparison to Mirage 2000. According to latest reports, India has tested its high-speed interceptor Prithvi defense vehicle against an electronic target from a defense facility, and the data generated during the mission are being analyzed currently. It is worth mentioning that the Prithvi interceptor has a range of around 2,000 kilometers outside the Earth's atmosphere, as the night test of the interceptor was conducted successfully for exo-atmospheric region in September 2018. The Ministry of Defense had approved the production of only 15 light combat helicopters initially as limited series production, while the Indian Army has committed to procure 114 light combat helicopters, and the Air Force can procure 65 helicopters, making a total order of 179 helicopters. Hindustan Aeronautics is aiming for a production rate of 18 to 20 helicopters per year, and the cost of building all 179 helicopters would cost over 40,000 crore rupees at the current price of 231 crores per helicopter, and this will necessitate the building of a new assembly line. A top Chinese military expert has said, that recent media reports on China's decision to sell its only operational aircraft carrier to Pakistan are unrealistic, and the government has never disclosed any plan regarding such a deal. There is a zero possibility of reselling the aircraft carrier to Pakistan, as its defense budget cannot afford an aircraft carrier, or maintain such a naval ship. The Lohia Group has marked its entry into the aerospace and defense sector, with the acquisition of Israel-based Light and Strong Limited. The Israeli facility is a well-established manufacturer, for platforms such as unmanned aerial vehicles, and passenger and cargo aircraft. The Lohia Group's facilities in India, will be part of the government's new defense corridor project, which will bring in high-end technologies into aerospace and defense composites domain. Airbus has planned one of its biggest ever participation at Aero India 2019, and the major attraction will be the flying displays of the A330neo. There will be demonstration flights by the C295 new generation tactical airlifter, which can perform multi-role operations under all weather conditions. Oh,